What's going on guys? Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I decided to uh, to not do the, the next couple of fights against uh, Sullivan Life. Which turned out to be a pretty good idea because I, uh, I died, you know, once or uh, maybe twice. You know, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Um, but I just decided not to do it live. Uh, but yeah, it was not was a pretty uh, doable boss. Uh, maybe slightly, you know, annoying. Um, but eventually, you know, like I said, after dying once, maybe twice. I mean, who's who's keeping count? I know I'm definitely not counting uh, the times that that I did die to him. Uh, but eventually, it all it all worked out. Once I realized that I could not only summon uh, the the black hand guy. Uh, there was the the pill shade of Londor, I believe, and then I also realized later on. That I was able to summon Andre, uh, and that actually turned out to be a really good summon. So I summoned both Andre of Astora and the Londor Pill Shade, and uh, that made the, the the whole fight a lot easier because fighting one on one was not working for me. Um, and I, I quickly realized that Andre is probably the best summon here because he just didn't die. Uh, he kept healing himself. He was he was pretty good. So that made the uh, the fight a whole lot easier. In fact, it was maybe a little too easy, even, like, one-on-one, -on -one, I I kept getting destroyed, and then I summoned these two guys, and suddenly, you know, it wasn't that big of a deal anymore. Um, because he, he, you know, when you summon people, the boss doesn't really focus on you all that much, which, uh, in hindsight, it might have been a better idea to only summon Andre. But yeah, just, you know, I started using embers and started summoning some NPCs here and there. Um, and I actually, towards the end, I, I did get to, um, to the second phase of the fight a whole lot more. Uh, but that's the part where it gets really annoying, where he gets his little, his little buddy to help him out. You know, they got some pretty annoying moves there. Uh, the one, the, uh, the area of effect move is actually really annoying. Uh, but, you know, once you do get the, his little clone, that's when the fight just gets a whole lot easier. Because then it's just a 1v1. And I don't think that he actually summons his clone again until maybe later. I think he started doing it again towards the end of the fight, but uh, that was just simply too late. He had no chance to uh, to summon his friend again. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the fight against Pontiff Sulavan there. You know, we beat him. Uh, I think we die like once or twice, so d I did really good. Um, that's it. Um, so yeah, let's. Let's actually continue the game. Okay, so we took care of our buddy Pontiff. Super happy that we finally got past it. And now we basically have two options. One is to go beyond this, but that's probably just going to lead to another area. Um, or we could go to, let me just see what this is called. Actually, we're going to spend our souls. Uh, but I want to see the other area that we haven't yet checked out over in Irithil. Uh, the one with the extra bonfire. I don't know what it's called, actually. But we'll check that out in a second. All right, what's up, lady? Give me the level. Thank you. Um. I'm not really sure. I guess I'll... I'll just get more faith. Seems like a pretty good choice. So why not? Let's just do it. And then... Just wasn't it? We're gonna need to allot some more of those. Not much else I can do. Uh, we still don't really have any weapons that scale with faith, which is what you know I wanted. Um, all we have is the Saint Bidem, but that just isn't very good, so yeah, okay. I guess that's just gonna be it for now. Shut up. Discovering Irithil in the Boreal Valley, all in a day's work. 
If the tales are true, it is home to old moon-worshipping nobles and should be packed with treasure. Well, I didn't see that much. What do you think? Shall I go and see what I can find? So he's just gonna okay. Yeah, get me some stuff, man. But before we do that, give me some embers, because I actually used a couple of them on the boss fight. Give me some of those. And that's pretty much all we can do. I will leave for some Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just you know, get back to me when you when you get the good stuff, man. Don't bother me before then. Okay, so we don't have any anything we need to burn or anything like Okay, we're good. So the bonfire that I was thinking of is pretty sure it's a distant manor. Uh, we found this and I thought originally that this would lead to the boss, but it was actually the other way. So either there's another boss or there's just an area there that we haven't yet seen. I'm pretty sure that we didn't go down here yet. I think we saw some enemies and we just decided to leave. Saw that treasure. Alright, let's do this. Don't run from me. I think I remember this. Alright, here we go. Are you gonna stab me? Nuh uh. Please don't. It's rude. Let's see what this guy was hiding. I see some invisible dudes. Actually, we need to drop down from here to even get to the the treasure. Please be good. That's not bad. It's also not that great, though. Oh, boy. You're gonna magic me? Nobody magics me. Alright, so it's not great. It's just not- it's not terrible, either. I mean, I'll take it. Hello. What's up, fireman? Die. There we go. Give me your staff. Fire witch leggings. Well, let's see what those have to say. Leggings of witches who bore the profaned flame, now harrowed spirits of Irithyll. The witches who lead the pontiff's knights were originally ordained as holy knights. It was not long, however, before their hearts were swallowed by the profane flame. That's pretty good stuff, actually. I mean, I'm gonna look a little weird, but I'm gonna wear it. Because it's good. And now I kinda want the rest of their- oh no. So either this is a boss fight, or someone's invading me. Eh, okay. Elva, Seeker of the Spurned. Where are you? There you are. Oh no, that's a sweet crossbow, man. Is that a Murakumo? Can I have it? Can I have the sword that you have? That's my favorite weapon. Well, I'm not sure it's my favorite, but I really like this weapon in, in Dark Souls 1. No! Oh, I'm dead. I am absolutely dead. That's pretty dead. That is a dead person right there. Okay, that was, that was bad. Maybe I shouldn't have blocked him or something. I don't know. That settles it, though. I am going to Ember again when I get there. Because if there's any chance in heaven or hell that he drops that weapon, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. So friend. Oh my god, what that was spooky. I didn't know he was that fast. Please don't do this. Alright, here we go. 
Don't interfere in other people's fights. It's very rude. Don't, don't you do that ever again. Actually, what? I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh my god. I'm gonna ember up because I want this guy's um, armor. Also gonna grab some coins. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use one. Here we go. Please, please just give me your armor. It's all I need. Give it to me, man. Look how cool you look. Give me. No, nothing? Come on. My item discovery is at 212. I mean, that's pretty high. I am slightly bummed out right now. Okay, let's deal with this guy. If we can get him to fall off of the cliff, that would be... Perfect, pretty much. Because that doesn't really require too much effort on my part. Come on, buddy. That's right. Come and get me. What is he doing? He is... Oh my god, what? Just one kick is all it takes? Oh no, I fell off myself. <laughs> Come on. Now that was just bad. That was just bad. All right, so if he kicks your shield away, he can instantly just sort of repost you. That seems slightly overpowered, but okay. Let's just go back. Let's do it again. Like I said earlier, if I run out of embers, I can always just farm for more. Oh, hello. I'm definitely going to have to kill you now. There you go. You're a jerk. So are you. Sweet hair, though. It's pretty good. Come here, buddy. All right, now I'm going to ember up. Back to 20. And we're going to take care of the fire guy here. Oh, you think that's funny? Think it's funny? Using fire on me? Give me that, give me that armor. Nope, still nothing. Alright, let's try this again. I guess I'll just try to dodge a bit more. Maybe if I just stand over here, I'll still fall down. Here we go. I feel like it shouldn't be this hard to to get this guy to fall down by himself. Look at him, he's so close to falling down. And almost there. See you, friend. See you later, sucker. Murakumo, yes, it was. I love this weapon. Here it is. The curved great sort of Elva, seeker of the spurn, specially forged in an eastern land. Sharp but heavy, this sort requires extreme strength and dexterity to wield. The search for the spurn had no end, and so the wayfaring knight warmed to a most deformed weapon. And it's got spin slash. And it's pretty strong. And it's really cool. Oh my god. I also need to switch back to the... Uh, Shiloh want. Uh, now all I need to do is just upgrade this, but... I am not really sure if I want to go back or if there's like a bonfire here. I mean, there could be a bonfire here. I, what do I know? Hello. Visions of Hidden Path tried down. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. I'm not trying that. It has zero ratings. I don't believe it. What? Where are we going? 
Bonfire, I knew it. Aerithil Dungeon. Alright, so this is a whole other area then. Which makes me question what is behind uh, the Pontiff. We should probably take a look at that as well, maybe? Because now I'm not really sure where to go. God of War. Alright, let's see. I want to upgrade the Murakumo. Because I love this bad boy. Look how cool it is. That's just a beautiful sword. And let's see. I mean, we have the souls and we have the shards, so why not? Boom. Well, let's see, it is... Slightly worse than the... The Black Knight Sword, but it can still be infused. Uh, which would, I think, make it better. See, this is pretty good. It's gonna be best if we sharpen it, actually. It's gonna put it almost at 300. I think this might be best for now. Just sharpen that bad boy. Screw it, let's do it. Pretty be careful. No, you be careful, man. Alright, Grey Rat's not back yet, so now we need to buy from you. Yep, it's gonna get more embers. And Kukri. Ashen. Thank you, lady. Alright, so with that, we have a new weapon with a pretty cool, oh my god, pretty cool skill, look at that. And my, my cloak is all buggy. Now it looks like I'm wearing two skirts, so let's fix, fix that. Uh, I also just realized we have the soul of the pontiff, which I didn't read yet. Uh, pontiff Sylvan of Erethil imprisoned a god of the old royalty in the abandoned cathedral to be fed to the devourer. I don't know what that means, but let's see what we can use this soul for. I'm guessing one of the items we can choose is probably going to be one of those swords. So it would be pretty cool. Uh, it's that one. It's both of the swords. So we have the Great Sword of Judgment, a ceremonial sword held in Pontiff Sylvan's left hand, representing the judgment of the moon, but with magic far closer to sorcery than any existing lunar power. Its dark blue hues, deeper than the darkest moon, reflect Sorcerer Sylvan's true nature. Stance of Judgment, unleash dark magic. That sounds pretty cool, uh, but it needs intelligence, so basically it's useless to us. Then there's the profaned greatsword, a ceremonial sword also. Long ago, when Sulvan was yet a young sorcerer, he discovered the profaned capital and an unfading flame below a distant tundra of Irithil, and a burning ambition took root within him. Summon the profaned flame, lunge forward, okay. I mean, that looks better for us, but we, we can't actually use this yet. Although we are very close, but it's an ultra greatsword, so I'm not really sure. Uh, what I want to do. do not See you. Away. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave here for now. In the next part, we're going to go to either... I'm guessing the area beyond Sulavan, just see what's over there, and then the dungeon. Uh, I'm guessing behind Sulavan, there's probably just some treasure or something. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.